Salutations, my glamorous adores! Welcome to the fourth interview of the Choice Cuts Tournament. That's right, we are officially at the quarter, 25%, the full one-fourth of the entire interview. Oh, I am not great at reading teleprompters. We don't have any teleprompters. We don't? Huh. Hmm. Well... This sure is embarrassing, but anyways, allow me to introduce our, uh, um, I don't think I can continue this anymore. C can we just move on to the next person? That's quite a bit rude, don't you think? I'm sorry, honey, but I've been doing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back interviews. Every day we have to do four interviews. And we're pretty much at the end, and I'm already out of steam. It's alright. I think I know someone who has a lot of steam. You do? Well, uh, <clears throat> allow me to uh, introduce everyone here. This is Claren. She is actually uh, teamed up with another special guest to become Allies of Ether. It's a pleasure to meet you all. And especially you, Craig. Long time no see, hasn't it? I thought you were gone to beat the Emperor three years ago. I thought returning to join a little tourney doesn't sound that bad. After all, I found someone who's technically in one. Three years ago? I thought the last year you were going to fight him. No, Claren heading off to fight Emperor Loxodon happened three years ago. The ending of Cray Goes to Pax 2021 was separated into the following two years. So it's kind of like a trilogy. I bet you didn't know about that, didn't you? That's interesting. Also, you said you brought another contestant from another tourney? Who is it, darling? The anticipation is killing me. Your toilets were not inclusive enough. <sighs> Eliana, why did you bring her? She's waiting for winners round two in some tournament she's mad about. Due to some paperwork, I really can't say anything about her. And she can't say anything about where she is right now. I don't know how to feel about this. Him being out of the running. Should I be happy he's gone? Or pissed that I was not the one to give him the final blow? I cannot choose how to feel. And it's quite overwhelming. So, I thought I would tell myself. You know, maybe, maybe she would like to come along with me. You know, until winner's round two. Um... You couldn't have gotten anyone else? Nope. I'm pretty sure there was someone out there on your mind. Nope. Hmm. There are no snake opponents here, so I'm okay for now. But the closest thing to a snake besides me is that gator. Also, who's the guy with the one wing? Did someone rip his wing off or something? No. He's just like that. So... What do we do here exactly? Fight? Nope. The lovely voters over there will vote to see who should move on to the next round and win the entire tournament as a whole. Yeah, and um, I guess you could bring stuff over here to the channel if you want. Pretty sure that's already been done. If you two win, I have to make Riles of Eater content stuff. Hmm. So, what do I do exactly over here? Oh, you know, just chill out, make some enemies, make some friends, a little bit of both. But uh, try not to be a nuisance. Our next interviewers are going to make uh, Eliana's things look like a little joke. I guess it's time to show who's the boss around here. And that would be me. I rule this place here with an iron flipper. Come on, Eliana. Let's make our round one contestant completely whimper. Oh, 
Who are we going up against anyway? Ooh, that's a good question. In round one, match four, you two are going up against Byleth. What do you think about the him? Personally, I look really great with a snake scarf. How do I look? It's a really nice scarf you got there, darling, but, uh... You need to tell me. What do you think about Pilot? Who? Uh, he's... Uh, tall... And... Tall... And... Uh, Greg, darling, can you help me out who Pilot is? Honestly, I have no idea myself. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna be start, uh, preheating up dinner. Uh... We we could wrap everything up. We'll we, we'll be starting uh, tomorrow's interview. Maybe tomorrow. Ah, I remember now. So um, Byleth is actually a character from Super Smash Brothers, but uh, he doesn't like to be uh around the world Smash Brothers. It's uh he has a little bit of trauma, so try not to say that to him, okay? It's not a lot, but I have a weird feeling that this might happen again. <sighs> well, tune in next time, darlings, for our fifth interviewer. Bye! <laughs> Rise and shine now, Yana. So, uh, sorry to startle you there. I had a dream, and I was in another tournament on a ship, and you were there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. You do realize that the only tourney you have ever been in is this one, right? But of all the fighters that exist, why did you choose me? Well, it was either you or... You know... I guess that's, uh, I guess that's a smart choice. So, uh, yeah, in the next three minutes, we're gonna be starting your interviews. So, uh, I guess I'll see you later over there. I'll see you over there. A feline fatale from a future where all hope is not lost comes to share a message. Get Rivals of Eat Their Merch. Pre-order Rivals 2. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, someone edited that, that part in. Uh, we'll get that fixed later. Claren wields her iconic plasma sword and an unlikely partner. Eliana! A mech-driving revenge-filled serpent is no match for any of her foes. These two will bring... Rivals of Ether content from memes, gameplay, and anything relating to the series. Examples are anything from Lovers of Ether or the spin off series, Dungeons of Ether. And as of recording this, please go pre order Rivals of Ether 2 once it's announced. Also, they'll get content relating to Claren and Eliana, ideally a plush series dedicated to them, along with the other rivals. Also, get Rivals 2 when it comes out. Okay, why is there so many shilling in this one here? Look, I know it's a good game, but seriously. I'm pretty sure just telling them once is already good enough, right? Right? Also, isn't Eliana, like, in somewhere else? Yeah, it, it, is it, is it she, like, in another, another place? Oh, uh, she's a spectator. Ah, uh, oh, of course, she's just a spectator. So, of course, we can't really have our role here. She's multi-judge with Claren. It's, uh, just Claren. 